Good evening. Uh, this time I am once again coming at to you from the castle in Gonda now. However, it's evening, sunset. Pretty beautiful, right? Uh, I want to talk about a funny topic today, which is stumbling, stuttering, fumbling, getting things wrong. Um, so I've been reviewing the videos that I've been making and watching myself uh, make mistakes from time to time, stutter a little bit, not come across as clearly as I would like to, etc. Now, I think previously where I'd, what stopped me doing things like making videos or doing stuff that I know that if I did it well, I would enjoy, is that um, I didn't want to be shit. I wanted to be good. I've always liked being good at stuff. And yet, something's turned in the last few months where I've been like, you know what, fuck it, it's actually quite fun to be bad at stuff and I, um, I don't know, I like exploring my own, um, insecurities or, you know, the edge of my comfort zone. And trying things like, you know, posting videos on YouTube or like going to do weird dancing and stuff like that, you're flirting with the the ends of your comfort zone. And I've realized that that one one of my things that I used to stress about a bit was um, how I'd come across in videos or talking. Um, I always preferred writing stuff down over talking because I felt like when I talked I would rush my words, not be able to get things out very clearly, um, be nervous, you know, that kind of thing. And I thought, shit, I'm like, how am I ever going to get around this because I, I want to move into a role where... I'm doing these kind of things. Um, so now I'm just taking the mentality of fuck it, just go for it. And if you stutter, it doesn't matter. If you fumble, it doesn't matter. If you don't make mistakes, it doesn't matter. Um, as long as you're, you keep going, you'll eventually um, improve. And but, but you don't need to be thinking about there being like an end point where like I'm gonna be, I'm only gonna be satisfied once I get to that point. I think it's it's fun to watch the progression. So if I, you know, post all these videos, um, maybe in years to come, I will look back on it and like be able to see, oh shit, like each day I was getting that little bit better, or doing things a little bit differently, um, and that's cool. Oh yeah, and another thought that I had kind of related to this was I was like, when I was starting out, I was thinking, okay, I'm going to experiment, see what's the best approach. Do I want to be lively, do I want to be calm, etc, do I want to do it like just after meditating, sitting, or, you know, whatever, and I've realised like, I doesn't, there's, doesn't, there's no like one right approach, I'm going to experiment and have fun with whatever and go with whatever feels right at the time, um, play my videos back and see see how it looks. I think overall, in in terms of when I've looked back at the videos, I think the ones where I've um, taken the things a little bit slower, I feel like I've got my point across a little bit more clearly and distinctly. And it's interesting how the ones where I have spoken quickly and been like blah, 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 where I've said more words as if you know, trying to get it over and done with quickly, those end up being the longer ones. Where the ones where I take my time, pause between sentences, tend to be the shorter ones. Such as this. Good night.